Hey, Josh from Bernal Cutlery. Really happy to announce the return of Takata no Hamono knives here at Bernal Cutlery. Uh, Mitsuaki Takata's knives have become a real favorite among our uh, staff in our shop and <laughs> wider. They've gotten really hard to get. Uh, he can only produce so much, and um, especially the Suiboku finish have become really popular. But great opportunity here that we have some on hand to take another look at them. Starting with the HH series, these are a hand-forged ironclad blue number two done by Nakagawa in Sakai. These have a really thin grind to them. This is the kind of grind that you might expect on a mono steel knife. Mono steel knives are typically a bit softer than sanmai or laminated knives with a three-layer construction. So it's a bit uncommon to find a three-layered knife with this kind of hard carbon steel that's this thin. Uh, really, really excellent cutting feel. Super, super smooth and incredibly easy to sharpen with Nakagawa's heat treatments. Mitsuaki got his start at Ashi Hamono many years ago. And uh, as you might know, they specialize in thin convex ground mono steel knives. So Mitsuaki has taken this grinding approach and brought it to hand forged knives. And the combination is really, really phenomenal. These have such an amazing cutting feel. They are quite delicate though, so this isn't the kind of knife for somebody that's not accustomed to how to use a, a, a thin, hard Japanese blade. But it's just such phenomenal work. These are the Suiboku finish. These have a polish and a bit of an etch, which brings out all the banding of the carbon and the cladding of the blade. It's just a really, really mesmerizing pattern that's formed in this. Care needs to be taken to keep these from rusting. They're not stainless. So uh, there's no, um, there's no <laughs> accommodation for, for user error with these knives. But if you are capable of looking after them, this is such a rewarding knife to have. Um, I hope they get used. I wouldn't blame you if you didn't want to use it, being uh, it's such a beautiful finish, especially on the Suiboku. But to use these is just such a joy. So hope you get a chance to check one out. Uh, visit our website, bernalcutlery.com, and uh, we have a little section devoted to Mit uh, Mitsuaki's Takata no Hamono, made in Sakai. And uh, a kind of side note about uh, Mitsuaki's workshop. In 2018, Mitsuaki Takata converted a small house in Sakai to his grinding workshop. And people working out of homes in Sakai is quite common. Sakai knife making really relies on independent craftspeople, kind of all working in tandem. And so it's rare for forging and grinding to go on at the same place. There are a few shops that do all that. However, most work done in Sakai is by specialist craftsmen in uh, separate locations. So uh, Mitsuaki opened up uh, the first of one of these workshops in about 50 years. Most of these other workshops have been in existence for quite some time. And so uh, it's a really cool thing to get to see him building that out and even more so to see what he's come up with. It's really inspiring what he's doing. His output isn't you know, enormous because his uh, quality is really exacting. He's really, you know, very meticulous with his work, and it's just him. So, you know, they're not pumping out thousands and thousands of knives, but uh, if you can get your hands on one of these, I highly recommend it. The Suiboku are gorgeous, but, you know, the HH series, the plain Migaki finished Hamaguri grinds, really should be uh, checked out too. They're really nice. All right. Thanks for watching.